Hey guys, thank you so much for jumping into this video today. My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music video. And in this video is actually going to be the first episode of a new series I'm starting where I actually put the spotlight back onto you guys, the viewers. You guys send me so much great stuff, all your research, all your theories, all your ideas, and this stuff is great. And I just don't have the time all the time to, you know, look into it or try out your theories. I have so much of my own stuff to do, guys. I'm bombarded. I'm literally bombarded with so much, like, I guess, chili and mystery homework. So I don't want your stuff to go to waste. You know, you guys put a lot of time and hard work into your theories and all your research. And you guys really do come up with some great shit. And I really do appreciate you guys sending me everything. So this is my way of showing that appreciation by putting it in this video and hopefully somebody watching these videos can, you know, add to their connections or their theories and maybe try some of this stuff out. And it's just a good way to get your voice heard and get your stuff out there. So big thank you to all you guys. Your support has been awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking the videos and watching every day and just, it's just amazing. So this is the least I can do guys. Thank you so much. Let's get this going and hope you like it. Okay, the first one is by Garrow, Garrow, Garrow. He says, what if the mystery actually takes place online? And story mode gives you UFOs to distract you because hear me out, Chiliad means 1000. The max level on GTA Online is 1000. Maybe come back to the mountain when you're level 1000, since it's called Mountain 1000. That's very, very, very interesting. Thank you, Gero, 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 for that theory, idea, and piece of information. Okay, the next one is by Emmett632. Emmett says, some things that are suspicious to him is why do we have Omega's number if we never call him? When you call him, you get a message about exploring the proto-galaxy. He looked up proto-galaxy and it's made up of hydrogen and helium. So maybe it's something to do with the blimp. He also says, see you in the next meridian. So maybe at a certain location or it could be at noon. Also, why is there a train we can blow up on the parachuting activity where you land on the train? The location I'm suspicious of is the Vinewood Bowl. There's a ring on top of the stage and it's in the shape of an egg to him. Plus, there's posters about it in Jimmy's room. Can't wait for more of your videos. Thank you, Emmett. And you know what? That does really quirk my interests because the blimp thing, if you think about it, when we first got Grand Theft Auto, okay, when it first came out on last gen, I think the blimp that we got was an atomic blimp. And now on next gen, it's uh, Exxon. So why did they change the types of blimps? Is that, you know, possibly a clue? A little change that we were supposed to notice and look into? You never know. I like the whole thing with the trains too, since the whole Back to the Future thing with the 88 miles per hour needing, you know, help by a train to get to that speed. Very, very good, Emmett. Thank you so much for the comments. And we also have another comment by Emmett, and he says, Great video as always, I like your work. Just wondering if you knew Del Perro on Google Translates of the dog. So maybe part of the chop step is at Del Perro Beach. Very, very interesting, Emmett, because obviously my last couple videos I've been stressing things about CHOP, the CHOP app, and that is a very, very good piece of information. It might actually help us in this mystery concerning CHOP. We have another comment about CHOP, and that's by Cracker Steve. He says, I finally unlocked the gold collar just now. A message saying, gold collar unlocked pops up. I could be wrong, but I don't think this happens with the other collars. Not sure if it means anything, but I do feel like we should focus more on things like this that seem unimportant. Like you said, Rockstar put time and money into this app for a reason. I also noticed the Los Santos Customs app has a standard group of paint colors that aren't grouped together like this in-game. Worth checking out, maybe. Cracker Steve, definitely, that's a great observation because Rockstar works in subtle ways like that. They'll definitely, you know, make a small change or do something small, like group together a certain thing and, you know, it's not anywhere else in the game or it's not custom like that anywhere else. That's definitely something we should be picking up on and looking into. Great comment. Thank you for that, Cracker Steve. 
Okay, this next one might be hard to read, but I'll read it for you. It's by Mark Neon underscore blue, and he says, This might not mean anything, but it rang a bell in my head. Michael is connected to yoga, right? And the character that plays Michael in real life is actually married to a yoga instructor. Dot, dot, dot. Boom. Laugh out loud. Very, very interesting, Mark. And he also goes ahead and says, I think I've solved the chicken statue in GTA 5 with the tra traffic cone on its head. He says the game was made in Scotland, UK. And in Scotland, there is a place called Glasgow. And in Glasgow, there is a tradition of putting a traffic cone on the statue of the Duke of Wellington. This is obviously a reference to the statue of the Duke of Wellington. Do research and think about it. It's a tradition in Scotland, and the game was made in Scotland originally, and in the game, the chicken has a cone on its head. It so adds up. Definitely, definitely very interesting and great observation there, Mark Neon. Thank you so much for the comment. And he also sent me this picture that goes along with what he just said right here. Okay, the next one is by Jay Holy Moly, and he says the Gonzo filter is definitely from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. He gives a picture, and he says the guy in the middle's name is Dr. Gonzo. That's a very, very great observation, Jay. He also goes on to say that what if the triggers that we're searching for are just recreating scenes from different movies? Now, that's definitely something to think about. That's a really good theory, and they definitely give us filters that tie into different shows and movies to be able to do that. So that's a great, great idea and observation. Thank you so much for that comment, Jay. Holy mo- On the topic of filters, we have Keith Harding, and he says there is a filter called Kabakicho, which is the red light district in Japan. So the names aren't random. That's a very, very, very good observation too, Keith. Thanks for doing the research and finding that out. You know, when I was showing the filters in my video, I was showing, you know, the Albuquerque one, and I was talking about Breaking Bad, and, you know, these comments and the stuff that you guys sent me is just perfect. You know, you guys are responding to the stuff I put in the videos, but you're just adding so much more. So I appreciate these comments. Keith, thank you so much for giving us that information. Okay, the next one is by Draz and Oscar 5M. Basically, they're telling me that there might be a secret peyote in the game, okay, and it might actually be something crazy like Bigfoot. And let me go ahead and explain why. All right, when you go into director mode, if you have all the peyotes, you'll have a hidden trophy or achievement unlocked saying Cryptozoologist. And it'll say, you unlocked all animals for use in director mode, or did you? Hinting at a secret peyote. Now, there's also um, files in the game that were found saying that there's a golden peyote there's also sound files that hint at like Bigfoot okay and um, if you look up the meaning of cryptozoologist it says uh, it's a pseudoscience involving the research for animals whose existence has not been proven due to lack of evidence hinting at something like Bigfoot so there's a big thing going on right now and Drez and Oscar went ahead and took the initiative to send me information on it and that's very good guys because I don't really, you know, always have the time to look at the newest and hottest information out. So thank you for giving me that information and here you guys go. This is it. Let me know what you think about it. And um, if anyone comes up with anything or any new further information on this peyote, this hidden peyote in Grand Theft Auto, definitely let me know. Thank you, Draz and Oscar 5M for the comment. All right, the next one is by Seaton GT3. He says, Danny, I think I have just solved an Easter egg. I think it was opposite of Mount Zona Hospital. There's a building where the windows have an advertisement on them, which are pills slash capsules in an egg packaging. He believes this is the Johnson & Johnson's cyanide laced Tylenol capsule murders, which took place in 1982. It's the same type slash color of the capsules. Yippee. Seton, that's a very, very awesome observation. Thank you for doing the research. And you know what? You may very, very well possibly be right on that. And maybe that Easter egg is actually tied into this Chiliad mystery. I know that Wispy Woods 
has brought up cyanide and different things of that sort before. So, I mean, we're all in this together. Where this is a teamwork-based mystery. So I definitely see more connections here. Thank you definitely for giving this piece of information to us. Definitely appreciate it. Okay, on to the next one, and it is Hazefa Raza. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Sorry if I butchered it to hell. And he says, hey Danny, what's up? Really love your channel. Just wanted to tell you if you noticed the stove mural UFO. Um, thank you so much, dude, for uh, the, the comments. I definitely appreciate you liking the channel. And yes, I did notice the, uh, the mural on Michael's stove. It does kind of look like a UFO or an egg. It is definitely a good observation. It's just one more little hint or clue, you know, a little visual hint or clue, giving us confirmation that Michael is definitely tied with UFOs. And, um, you know, it's definitely worth taking the time and looking at. So definitely thanks for sending that and great observation. Thank you, man. Okay, the next one is by Choice. Now, Choice has been sending me stuff uh, for days and weeks on Twitter in, a, in private messaging, guys. He's been doing a lot of homework. He's been spending hours and hours a day at the Altruist Camp doing research. And I just want to say thank you so much, Choice, because it really helps a lot having somebody focusing on a certain location and just picking out all the relevant information and sending it to me. It really does help. And I couldn't even post everything in this video guys that he's been sending me okay I'm gonna have to keep on you know adding you know pieces here and there throughout the different episodes um, concerning this type of stuff where I showcase your guys stuff and um, basically what he's talking about here is that he counted 99% uh, sure that he counted 24 sons throughout the altruist camp okay large sons small sons but he uh, made the connection that there's 24 suns, 24 hours in the day, you know, it's kind of crazy that might mean something. I think it's a very, very good observation. He also goes on to say that um, in the new director mode, okay, they give you access to every weapon except the baseball bat. Now we know that the baseball bat is um, on the altruist camp rock, you know, where it makes up the little jetpack guy. So that's definitely a good observation, something to think about. All right, he also goes on to talk about that the AC camp, the altruist camp, says to see the light. Now, if you go to the hippie camp, there's uh, lights that are set up and they shine in different places, okay? And he gives us a picture right there of the light shining on the wall one of the walls in the hippie camp so that's a very good observation it's very very interesting too there might be more to that and then the last thing he says over here is um, around the city or around the world in GTA 5 there's people that are holding up a map okay like a tourist map and if you sneak up to them you can see that there's white dots on certain locations on that map okay he thinks it might mean something possibly he says one of the dots is over Fort Zancudo and another one is over the altruist camp so that's very 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 good observations great research uh, research choice I really do appreciate it and there is so much more guys that he sent me so I'll just have to take bits and pieces and add them in you know all the different episodes that I'm doing of this type you know where I show case all your guys stuff that you send me so definitely stay tuned for more of this research that he's doing very good and just one more thing by choice guys and that is he made a connection with the different churches. Okay, they're missing a letter on each of their signs. Okay, one of them is S, one of them is E, and one missing letter is A, which spells C, like the Red Sea, like a body of water. Now that can also be looked at as C, like visually C. Okay, and in the last image that I showed you from him, he uh, stated how the altruist camp says see the light and that there's different pieces of uh, wall and different images in the hippie camp that have light shining on them. So maybe this is just another clue that is, you know, referencing see the light or different areas in the game that are lit up. Very good observation and research choice. Definitely worth looking at. Thank you so much for the information, buddy.
Okay, last but not least, we have Thermal Paste. And he says, we also need a Dick Fruit cameo every now and again. Well, Thermal Paste, I think I might be able to do that for you. I'm glad you like my little sick pornographic type humor that I slice in my videos every now and then. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate all your support. I appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. I appreciate you guys sending me all your research ideas and theories. And if you didn't see any of your ideas, theories or research that you sent me in this video, don't worry, I'm not excluding you. I will definitely get to you. I just have so much that you guys send me that I have to just, you know, take, you know, little portions at a time and then put them in so if you didn't see anything in this don't be offended it's nothing personal i'll definitely get at you soon so thank you very much i love you all it's been a great time thank you so much for your research guys and all your ideas and theories it really is appreciated i'll talk to you guys in a next video or on twitch if you guys want to know how to get in contact with me okay my Twitch is uh, twitch.tv slash musicvidiots. That's where I do my live broadcasting, where you can talk to me directly live. Okay, and if you hit the follow button when you're there, you will um, get notified every time I go live, so that way you won't miss a broadcast. Okay, my Twitter is um, music underscore vidiots. So that's my Twitter, at music underscore vidiots. My Facebook is facebook.com slash musicvidiots. Obviously, my YouTube is youtube.com slash user slash music videos. And basically that's, basically, that's it. If you want to add me on Kick Messenger, K-I-K, that is also music videos. And um, basically, um, I also look in my uh, YouTube comments. So if you throw something in there, there's a good chance I'll see the comments. So thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. And as always, peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. It's been an honor and a pleasure having you here. If you have anything you want to share, put it in the comments below. And if you don't mind liking, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Thank you guys. Here's a way to contact me. Somewhere up there. Have a good one, and as always, peace!